today we will be doing another mini makeover as we continue to work our way through Modern Builds' bus since that was the task given to me as I house sit for him before moving into my own home here out in Joshua Tree. Ma'am, what are you doing up in Modern Builds' bus? Excuse me, ma'am, will you take me to home? Okay, let's show him, ready? If you guys are new to this series or my channel or this episode in general seems a little bit confusing, I am currently house sitting for Mike and I am going to be decorating his bus that he already turned into a tiny home. He did all the blood, sweat, and tear work for me. I get to come in and make it pretty since he said he had a little bit of a difficult time styling it, which you know I'm all about. It is pretty crazy to physically walk the bus. As a carpenter, it blows my mind how much work went into this project. So if you are interested in anything build wise mike's got it all over there on his channel for you if you don't know mike his channel is modern builds and it is truly one of my favorite channels to watch and he's one of my favorite humans you can see that cute styled bedroom all the way in the back there we are making our way from the back of the bus to the front of the bus and then i'm giving you the full tour but really for the decor of it i don't want to do anything too crazy or too cluttered because there's already enough color to speak for itself you're not impressed with the bus no, because she's bored always. I'm excited to be getting ideas from Mike because I actually have an RV that is a guest house on my property. So this is really fun just to style, to start to brainstorm for my own ideas. For his bus though, I wanted to keep it more Mike. I've been decorating for basically everybody else but myself, and we're just on the last leg of doing that before I fully get to show you who Rachel Metz is in my style. But for right now, we're gonna still stay in that thrifted Joshua Tree color scheme and playfulness because that is what Mike is doing. He DIY'd this table extension, which is very clever, but for the staging purposes, I'm gonna take this out because nobody really is using this bus, and this is gonna make it look bigger by putting the extension away. As far as pillows in the bigger decor or like rugs, I picked this up from Walmart because Mike actually likes Walmart and he has a sponsor that's with them. So I wanted to keep this sponsor friendly for him if he was going to be taking photos or staging anything else in here. All the other littler items are those one of a kind thrifted pieces. Like how? cute is this guy actually let me show you the other stuff I got too so here's one of them these were five dollars each they're just some vintage matches I got a couple of different packages because I love the colors because that's gonna be like for my bar outside and then so this guy's gonna be for the entryway of the bus that's gonna be a separate video it'll be the entry makeover then the full tour in depth I think this is only five dollars but it's huge my hands are pretty big so I'm gonna keep doing those pops of orange everywhere. This is a vintage little glass, but it just says Edgemar Farms, one pint, and it matches the, the countertops perfectly. So let me walk you through all the stuff. I did a couple of close-ups, but for some stuff I can't. These I got for my master bedroom. They are vintage whip. Whoa. They are vintage whips, are just rustic. And I'm doing my master bedroom in neutral, so I thought this would be pretty sexy hanging up on the wall. And then the other vintage stuff I showed you, I got some more books, which are always a good tried and true with the scatter scheme, with the color scheme. Um, and again, this will be for the decor moment back here, which I love playing on all these colors and just having the best time. And then, this is one of my favorite finds. It's just a, a soda spritzer, water spritzer, with the, just a little bit of a teal moment, but not too overwhelming, but yeah, a little bit different than the teal he has here. Again, this will be a decor moment. I'm not really sure. What else did we get? I kind of heard it. There's not a lot of red in here, but there is like a sneaky amount of red. So I'm gonna turn these into wall art. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I don't wanna go too overwhelming in here. I just wanna make it cute. 
These I actually bought for my house from my new favorite store, Hoof and Horn. So these are gonna be for my kitchen and I'm very excited about them. I might go back and get more depending. But here's one, this is a kitchen towel. Just has some little mushrooms all over them. And then I got just a, another stamped one. But in this color, cause this color is hint hint like, mm my color for my house. So I think I might just layer these. It's far enough away where it won't catch on fire. And also I'm gonna take these with me so they're not gonna be here, but they'll kind of do something like that with a simple rod going across, so that's fun. I have been having more than I like to admit, more late night DIYs for the projects that I've been filming for the past month uh, in front of a space heater because I haven't had propane in over two weeks. I actually just got it today. So now we got some actual heat to the house, but that's why you see me so close to this thing. I spent the next couple of hours this night doing paint DIYs. Now I like to do things at night that I don't need to be doing with daylight. And I think that's a tried and true for any makeover. I think when you do list in your head of what you need to tackle throughout the day, it gets overwhelming if you're trying to do everything before sundown. So kind of take a moment to see what can be DIY therapy. And that's where I like to implement these smaller DIYs or the things that can afford to be kind of late night sessions. For the kitchen, we are going to keep it very simple. I wanted to do some salt and pepper, a little cacti, because that will be a theme on the other side. And then as far as the stove top, a cutting board in plain sight with a napkin and two thrifted finds, that's gonna make it a moment and thought of, but everything that you would use in functional like items actually for the kitchen use is going to be in the cupboards down below that Mike built. I wanted to show you if I were to host this as an Airbnb, I would like style this little dish moment, but then everything and then some that they needed, like I mentioned before, would be in the cupboards. But this would kind of be like, oh look cute, little breakfast for two with the silverwares in the jar, but realistically everything else is functional down below. We are definitely adding cast eye to the windows to add character. This is gonna give you a little bit of height in the windows and also make it look more like a styled space. They're also super low maintenance, which works great. And then I put varying heights, but I did the same cacti just because I think that's the most aesthetically pleasing. We're gonna pop it down with some pink right here. Give him some water. I need to pull an all nighter in the bus and get it done. And I have this really cute idea for lighting. Um, I did it on this side, you can't see it yet, but I wanna do a little time lapse. Great minds really think alike because when I told Mike about this idea, he was like, oh yeah, that's genuinely what I was thinking. Awesome. Okay. You can start to kind of see it. Let's bring it to the front. I thought I was just adding mood lighting. Turns out I was actually adding like legitimate lighting to the bus because I was very confused. I thought this whole thing was lit up. That lets you know that I didn't watch every single episode all the way through on Mike's channel, but I am interested to see what he does for brighter lighting when he gets back. Oh, there are no lights. Oh, I'm right. The only light is in the bathroom? Yep. Yeah. Okay, well this light works, cute. Wow, okay, well thank God I added those. Now I have taught you this a million and one times on my channel. I am going to do my tried and true copper uh, rod shelf here. Sticking out so I can hold utensils, towels, what have you. I have a bajillion tutorials on it, literally a bajillion. You guys are probably sick of this move, but it is a really easy way to get some storage in your life and look pretty damn cute. And hiya. We want it kind of high because we're going to hang utensils from it. So I would say like here. My new thing is mixing metals too. I love mixing metals. So you'll see there's a little bit of gold, a little bit of copper or bronze, I should say, copper and silver. I used to paint everything white and make it very cohesive, 
And the reason this is wood is because Mike built it out. So now we're gonna take the level, boom, get it flat, and then a magic eraser is gonna be your best friend to get any of this. Okay, now typically I would do just S hooks like I did in my bedroom makeover, but this time I'm gonna do clear shower hoops. That way when you hold your stuff on here, it can stay. It might not look super, super cute, but I think for a bus, if we're like really doing the bus thing, this is gonna be your best bet, right? Because that way, if you're driving off, it's not gonna swing off like an S hook. I did not realize that I'd be squeezing my brother's scanning cut so tight when I moved to Joshua Tree, but things aren't readily available like they were in the city. It's really awesome to have the opportunity on hand all the time, not having to connect to my computer or anything like that if I choose not to, but to be able to flip this open, turn it on, design a little custom DIY that I can then turn to decor. With the Brothers Scanning Cut, there are a ton of capabilities. You can upload custom designs, which I've shown you. I've even embossed on my channel here. I've done a couple of other things as well. This time around, I was able to turn on the screen, write out a simple font with the fonts available on screen in the Brothers Scanning Cut, and then directly cut that onto a sticker material that I will then put on to our next DIY in the next slide. I truly do love Brother because it makes me think outside the box when I'm getting a little bit bored with the decor on hand or the fact that it isn't readily available like I mentioned before. With the Brother Scanning Cut DIY possibilities are truly endless. If you guys are interested in getting your own or you just wanna check out more, I've linked it down below for you. But even just doing this one DIY or having this in mind made me think on a larger scale and I'm very interested to scale this up. Thank you so much to Brother for sponsoring today's episode. If you guys wanna check out any of the other makeovers or DIYs I've done with them, I've also listed those videos down in the description as well. But let me show you what I'm now doing with this sticker cutout that I used, the Brother Scanning cut on. The DIY is going to be simple. I wanted to create a mini whiteboard, but not look like a whiteboard. So that is why I opted for glass. I've been using this glass cutter for the last four years of my YouTube channel. I've linked it down below for you as well. I'm just gonna cut a sheet in half and then make it a little bit skinnier before I take those sticker letters and put them sporadically in the words that I would like, but not so cohesively so it's a little bit funky and fresh to say, write me sweet nothings. The quote unquote frame is going to be two square dowels that we just ran along a table saw to make that groove thick enough for the double piece of the glass since we're gonna squish that together. And then I took that into the bus, added some construction adhesive and tacked that up with my brad nailer and inserted the glass very carefully and secured the top half of the frame. So it just stuck right up there, but it wasn't fully framed on all the edges. I thought that was a cute little moment as well. Before I show you that in use, I am gonna pop over to the couch and add a pop of color as well. I am using the same pillows that I found from Walmart from the back of the bus to the front of the bus because I feel like that's going to tie it together. For the dining table, if you will, I opted to make it not look like a dining table when it's not in use. I put a plant that was very colorful with a plant stand in the bottom corner, added a stool that he actually DIY'd and I will link for you as an option to sit. And then I cover that tire with a pink furry throw rug, just again to make it not look like such a bus moment right there. Mr. Mike, I have to thank you because what a breath of fresh air this project is before I head into the chaos of the demo and reno of my own property. And it's actually kind of funny because when I asked him what would help him most and he said styling the bus because he needs somewhere nice to sleep while he demos and renos, I fully get it now. I am very aware that Mike will see this online before he gets back from filming his secret project, but I will be filming his reaction and we will be doing the tour of the bus together with his actual real thoughts once he gets back in the beginning of February. This is my first time decorating a bus tiny home. I'm having a lot of fun with it and I do realize it looks like I'm just putting things on a counter, but I do think styling little moments takes a little patience and some personality of your own to implement into a space. So don't get frustrated, just trust your gut and no matter what you're decorating, no matter how many objects you're implementing into the space or not, just know that they all matter 
no matter how large or small they are because it makes the space that much better. I did read one comment that said, I was really looking forward to you decorating your own house. And as much as I do own the house and I am moving into it, that is gonna take me a little bit to get up off the ground running. So bear with me as we finish the Modern Builds mini series, which is just a couple more weeks before we full blown dive into my property. Thank you so much to Brother for sponsoring today's episode and thank you guys for your patience during this transition. We are gonna be wrapping up Mike's bus probably mid-February and then it is all about my house, makeovers, and who Rachel Metz really is as a builder and a designer, which I, I'm just besides myself that I get to finally show you.